क्वेश्चन सिक्स सेज लुक एट सेवरल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ फ्रैशनल नंबर्स इन द फॉर्म पी बाई क्यू वे क्यू इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वे पी एंड क्यू आर इंटीजर्स विद नो कॉमन फैक्टर्स अदर देन वन एंड हैविंग टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल रिप्रेजेंटेशन और एक्सपेंशन कैन यू गेस वॉट प्रॉपर्टी क्यू मस्ट सेटिस्फाई सो लेट्स लुक एट सम रैशनल नंबर्स विच हैव टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल रिप्रेजेंटेशन so for example we have half half is 0.5 then let's take 1 3 by 4 3 by 4 is 0.75 and let's take 5 by 8 5 by 8 is actually 0.625 and let's take one more let's take 9 by 20 9 by 20 is 0.45 and probably let's let's take one more example let's take 49 by 50 which is 0.98 so i have taken five examples the question said take several examples so i have taken five examples now all of these rational numbers have terminating decimal representations is there a pattern you can spot something special that you can determine about these five rational numbers that makes their decimal representation terminating to figure it out let's write the decimal forms as fractions by removing the decimal points so half which is 0.5 can be written as 5 by 10 3 by 4 which is 0.75 can be written as 75 by 100 5 by 8 which is 0.625 can be written as 625 by 1000 and then we have 9 by 20 which is 0.45 this can be written as 45 by 100 and 49 by 50 which is 0.98 can be written as 98 by 100 so is there a pattern you can spot now by looking at the equivalent rational number for each rational number can you spot a pattern now if you want to you can pause the video for a minute and actually think about it okay so let me tell you what the pattern is each of these five rational numbers that we have taken these five rational numbers this in this side each of these can be written as an equivalent rational number with a denominator that's a power of 10 a power of 10 for example half is half is 5 by 10 in which the denominator is 10 then 3 by 4 is 75 by 100 in which the denominator is 100 5 by 8 in for 5 by 8 the denominator is 1000 and for 9 by 20 as well as 49 by 50 the denominator is 100 again so because each of these rational numbers can be written as an equivalent rational number with the denominator that's a power of 10 its decimal representation becomes terminating and this is because when you have a power of 10 in the denominator of a rational number you just have to count the number of zeros in it and place the decimal point accordingly the decimal representation will then have as many digits after the decimal point as the number of zeros in the denominator so you can never get a non terminating recurring decimal if the denominator of the rational number is a power of 10 you will never have a non terminating decimal in that case so this means that any rational number p by q any rational number p by q which can be written as an equivalent rational number with a denominator that's a power of 10 any such rational number will have a terminating decimal representation the question now is when is this possible for which rational numbers can we find equivalent rational numbers in which the denominators are powers of 10 Let's take another example to understand this. So let's take, let's say, eleven by twenty, which has the terminating representation zero point five five, because eleven by twenty can be written as fifty five by hundred. And now let's take eleven by twenty one. This number actually has the non-terminating representation. Zero point five two three eight zero nine bar. So this block of six digits 
repeats in this uh, in the expansion of this rational number and this happens because the denominator cannot be the denominator 21 cannot be converted to a power of uh, 10 so why can 20 be converted to 100 but 21 cannot be converted to any power of 10 the answer lies in the prime factorization of these numbers now 20 is 2 times 2 times 5 it has only 2s and 5s one pair of 2 and 5 make a 10 the other 2 is alone it's not in a pair but if i multiply 20 by 5 i complete this second pair as well to make another 10 and hence i get 100 so 20 can be converted to 100 by multiplying it by 5 but on the other hand 21 this number the second denominator this is 3 times 7 no matter what factor i multiply it with it can never become an exact power of 10 because it will always have a 3 and a 7 in it so the answer to this question is p by q will have a terminating representation if q can be converted into a power of 10 and this can happen only if q has only 2s and 5s in it if q has any other prime factor we will not be able to convert it into an exact power of 10 no matter what we multiply it with so using this result we can immediately tell whether a rational number will have a terminating or a non-terminating representation for example numbers like 3 by 40 11 by 50 31 by 64 so i'm just making these up 71 by let's say 125 all of these will have terminating representations because their denominators have only twos and fives as factors on the other hand numbers like let's say 4 by 15 7 by 29 11 by 36 and let's say 51 by 70 all of these will have non-terminating representations since each denominator has factors other than just twos and fives so this discussion uh, this completes our discussion of this question to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers